Good day once again everyone and you are welcome to Mathematics Solution Center. Today we are going to be looking at a question that says determine the maximum value of y is equal to 3x squared minus x raised to the power of 3. Actually when we are talking about the maximum value we have two methods that can be used. Number one is graphical method and number two is an differentiation method. You are not expected to go and start plotting a graph when you are dealing with an objective question. In an exam that requires very little amount of time, you have to make use of your differentiation method. So, both maximum, minimum, and point of inflection, they are called turning point. At the turning point, the y by the x is equal to what? Is equal to zero. Therefore, we need to differentiate this equation. The y by the x is equal to 2 times 3. We have 6x raised to the power 2 minus 1, then minus 3 times 1, we have 3x raised to the power 3 minus 1, 2. And at the turning point, that is at the maximum point, the y by the x is equal to 0. It means 6x minus 3x squared is equal to 0. Okay, what is common between these two terms? 3x is common. Let's write 3x into bracket 2 minus x is equal to 0. This simply means that x is equal to 0 or 2 minus x is equal to 0 and that will give us x will be equal to 2. Then our expression for y is given as y is equal to 3x squared minus x raised to the power of 3. When x is equal to 0, y will also be equal to 0. And then when x is equal to 2, y will be equal to 3 into bracket 2 raised to the power of 2 minus 2 raised to the power of 3. Therefore, we have this is the same thing as 12 minus 8. 12 minus 8, we have a 4. So the correct answer here is option C, not option A. We go for C because it attains more maximum level compared to what? To zero. Thanks for watching. We have come to the end of this tutorial. In case you have not subscribed, kindly click the subscription button now. Like this video. At the same time, don't forget to put on the notification button. 